first of all, I want to start by saying uh, congratulations <laughs> on this movie because it is so good and you guys are both so good in it. Uh, but I am curious if you both took this role solely to get treated better at Disneyland and Disney World. <laughs> I mean, that was definitely in mind when we took the part for sure. Um, I mean, it's really cool to think that like, uh, and when, when, when Luca comes out, there could be like, like, I guess maybe like people dressed in Luca costumes, like just as sea monsters and stuff. And like those, those um, costumes, I think that'd be really, really cool. That'd be crazy. Right. So you both agree you took it solely to be treated better at Disneyland. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Only reason we did it for sure. Got it. I've been asking everybody this uh, in the last year. Uh, what TV series would each of you like to guest star on? Curb Your Enthusiasm. Mandalorian, hundred percent. Got it. Uh, yeah, I, you know you have a connection to Disney now. I'm just going to throw that yeah, out. Yeah, it's there. true. No. Uh, what movie or movies do you think you've seen the most? Oh, I've watched Goodfellas. Almost probably a hundred times. I'm not even kidding. That that might be my favorite film, actually. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's fantastic. Also, Indiana Jones. All those movies I've seen countless times as well. For me, I mean, it's kind of the same, but like, I'm a big Star Wars fan. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, I got some pretty cool stuff. But uh, yeah. Have you, have you been to the new Star Wars land at Disneyland? Yeah, I did. I, I did like the custom lightsaber thing. That was really, really cool. Wow, you got a custom lightsaber? Yeah, it was really awesome. It's like you go in there, you build your own, and there's like a crystal too that you put in, like it can be a different color. It's really cool. Dude, I'm so jealous. That's so sick. Right. Well, bro, I mean, we'll, we'll probably go sometime to Disneyland to, just to promote this. Let's do that. I, I was going to say, I mean, if this is, anyway, I can only imagine the next time you guys go there. Oh, line? What line? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I think a lot of people who are going to watch this interview might not know everything that goes on behind the scenes of making an animated movie. So maybe what surprised you both about making Luca that perhaps you weren't expecting? I would say I, I probably using, I, actually, you know what? I wasn't expecting this cast. If I'm being honest, like this cast is amazing. Like I, when I first um, started working on it, you know, I didn't know who's going to be my mom. I actually didn't know who's going to be Alberto. And then, you know, Maya Rudolph, you know, Jack Dylan Grazier, Jim Gaffigan is just so cool. It's just an amazing cast. Like they, yeah. they, whoever casted this is a is a goat. They did an amazing job. Uh, Jack, how much did you pay him to say that? Uh, you were not going to talk about that, but uh, Jacob, <laughs> from beginning your check in the mail. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, I'd agree with that. The cast is awesome to work with. Jacob Tremblay, the King of Beasts and King of Life and King of King Black. of Beasts. I like that. Um, he is the best and. Uh, it's, 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 it's been so much fun. It's really has. It really has. What do you think? One of the things also about animated movies is that they can really change a lot during the production. You know, your character arc, the storyline. Uh, how did this project change from when you first started recording to like what people are going to see? Um, that's a good question. I mean, I saw Luca. I'd say the, the, the character design for Luca changed not, not very significantly, but like, well, I mean, there are some, a few differences, I, I, you know, that, that could, it could have always been like that. And it was just the animation stages made it look differently. But I think that's probably um, what I saw change a little bit. I guess. Originally the turtle was a pelican. So that's not, tr not crazy. No, not crazy. It's very kind of, it's not extremely significant, but you know, Little thing. Yeah. What I have to imagine being a part of something like this, what is it like seeing the finished film? I mean, how did it compare to what you actually thought it would be going in? Um, oh, dude, it was it, I, it exceeded my expectations. I mean, usually with any Pixar movie, like my my I'm in shock of how beautiful it is. But this one, I have to say, is so unique in how it's cinematic, like and how and how it even feels Italian. And it almost feels like it's shot by Bertolucci, no, maybe not Bertolucci, but Fellini, maybe sort of, uh, or um, who's the other guy? Sir, uh, Leone, Sergio Leone. Anyway, um, I, I really have to say that it's so beautiful. The, the, the colors, the brilliance of, of blue and green and red and yellow, it's stunning. Yeah, I mean, I, he pretty much said it all. I love the, the kind of like pastel colors of, of the buildings. It literally looks like you can I was about to say something really weird, but I was going to say, like, it, it feels like if you were to lick the walls of one of the buildings, it tastes like fruit. Uh, <laughs> that's that's kind of what it looks like. I don't know why I just... 
I got an individual question for each of you because you're both in two upcoming things that I'm super excited about. Uh, Jacob, you're playing Flounder in the live action Little Mermaid, which I'm so curious about. And obviously I think this other guy who I'm talking to is in a Shazam sequel. Um, and I'm also very excited for that. So for both of you, what can you tease about both projects? Um, I'll go first. Um, working on the film um, has been really awesome. Everyone there is so nice. Like that, it's just so fun to work on a film like that. Um, but I really like what they did with Flounder's character design. I won't say too much, but it's really cool. Wait, I have a question about that actually too. Wait, with with are you is are you animated? I mean, I don't want to say too much, man. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna let the film. Okay, okay. Um, I for so it's a great cast. We got Helen Mirren. We got Lucy Liu. We got the new up and coming star Rachel Zegler from Steven Spielberg's West Side Story. We um, and it's a great. It's it, the, the script is hilarious. It's funnier than the first one, I'd have to say. And 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 we're getting away with a lot more this time. Um, and it's action packed and it's got twists and turns and it's super duper fun. The costume is different, no hood, sleeker, but, and uh, the shoes kind of like Iron Man's shoes. Oh wait, no, Iron Man doesn't exist. Who's Iron Man? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, we saw the pictures of the new costume have been have hit online and it looks cool. But yeah, I, I am curious for, about the script for the Shazam sequel. What your reaction reading it the first time was like, oh, wow. It was like, oh, wow. It totally. I think I can say this because I think that I saw this. Oh, God, I better not. Right. I don't uh, want to get you in I, trouble. I, I, I don't want to pull a Tom Holland. <laughs> I like how everyone knows he's the one that, that screws up. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just say that I'm, I'm really looking forward to both. But now I'll ask probably the most important question. Jacob, you are a big Star Wars fan. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just, I just showed you with this guy. So. Right, no, so how do you rank the top three movies in the in the Star Wars universe? What's number Thank one? Thank you for asking this question. Thank you so much for asking this question. I never get asked this, so I really appreciate this. Okay, I'm going to go first, um, Empire Strikes Back. Yes. Obviously. Second, Revenge of the Sith. I think Anakin's awesome, and the fight at the end is great, and Darth Vader is so cool. Um, and then third... I think for my third pick, I'm going to go with. I'm gonna go with, a new hope. I think the OG one, you know. Bro, that was the best. That was the best. Thank you. I'm glad that you understand. I understand perfectly. That's what I would have said too. Exactly. Yeah. I perfect. might have said it. Yeah. Oh, you said Empire Strikes Back, right? Yeah. Yeah. For my okay. first pick, yeah. That's perfect. Then yes. Yeah. I have so much to say to this. I will just say for the next time. Um, you guys have a great day. I think it's also the age when you see yeah, a movie, true. it dictates. But Empire Strikes Back is most people's top and same with me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that cool. makes sense. You guys have a fantastic day. Thank you so you much too. for talking. That was really fun. Yeah.